this is RC Jim, and welcome to another one of our videos on the Spectrum NX series transmitters and how you can do various things. And we're going into uh, details of specific menu items. Today we're going to be talking about mixing. And uh, mixing is something that is extremely helpful, can be used uh, for lots of different things. Essentially, what it does is when you move one control, it's also going to add in a bit of another control without you doing the other control. You just move the one, like say if you're talking about mixing aileron with rudder, you move the aileron and even though that stick physically isn't going to move, as far as the radio is concerned, it thinks it's adding in a bit of rudder as you go around the, the turn, enabling you to uh, fly more coordinated turns. Of course, you could do it with your fingers, and you know, just like in a real plane, you have to <laughs> do both controls separately. So yeah, you can do that, but uh, mixing allows you to fit it in. Um, one type of mixing that's uh, already set up in your radio without using this function is uh, what happens with your flaps. Uh, most likely you have your flaps set up when you kick in your flaps, and say you're going into that takeoff position with a mid position of the flaps. Uh, it's going to put in a little bit of down uh, elevator uh, simply because, as we've pointed out on a number of occasions, as you put the flaps in, it's changing the profile of the wing that is moving the center of lift farther forward on the wing. As that happens, it's lifting up the nose of the plane, and so you need to counter it with some down elevator to uh, keep it level. So that's a type of mixing that happens with the... the uh, uh, on the flap menu when you're setting up the flaps. But you might want to do it on other things where it's not set up as a standard type thing, and that's where the mixing uh, comes in. So let's go to the uh, mixing menu under the function list. And in the mixing area, you see that there's three things that are set up as standard type mixes. Rudder to aileron and elevator aileron to rudder, elevator to flaps. With each of those, the first item is the stick that you're moving. That's the input. The second item is what the radio is doing to another channel in response to what you've done to the first channel. Uh, whether it's operating or not is shown over here. It'll show you either inhibit or it'll show you what uh, switch is used to uh, turn it on. Um, and then, of course, it gives you six or so items down there, more if you've got a larger radio, but uh, plenty of items where you can do, put in lots of mixes. So let's start out with one of the standard ones. So take aileron to rudder. That's the idea when you turn the, uh, you, know, you push the uh, aileron stick to, to one side, it's also going to give you a certain amount of rudder based on a percentage that you specify. So if you specified 100%, it's like pushing them all exactly the same. 50%, the rudder is going to go halfway for full on the um, uh, other stick, and so forth. Okay, so we uh, press the button to go into there. Uh, so we've got aileron to rudder. Uh, it then shows you um, something about <clears throat> the curves and about a switch. So first off, we want to set a switch. And the reason for that is that we want to have something where we can turn it on and off and we can also uh, determine uh, whether it's active or not. Now, uh, we've got curves and we've got this thing down at the bottom that shows what's active. Generally, when you first start using this, everything is going to be fine. Uh, but anyway, I'd start out with curve zero. Uh, and I'd go down here and I'd make sure that when I've got the switch in the position that's my starting set of position, and I have on my radios everything up is sort of conservative standard type stuff. So something like mixes, just in case you put in something really weird that makes the airplane really act strange, um, I have those on the down positions for those, but the up position I have it just turned off. So I'm going to have curve zero to be zero and zero percent, and you can see down here on the little uh, bar where it's showing the position of the switches, it's got the zero colored in and not one or two. So that's saying that when the switch is in this position, it's active uh, with that, and it's got these settings that are set there. Okay, uh, so that's curve zero. So now I move the switch to the next position, and you can see it's moved up to curve one. And it's wanting to apply it to both one and two, but I just want it on one, so I'm going to blank out the two. 
Uh, and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to set some sort of percentage. So let's take 10% just for kicks. Okay, uh, you notice there's two 10%s there and it's for right and left. Now, blue is where it's highlighted. If I go over with a stick to the left, you can see now it's just the left that's highlighted. If I put the stick to the right, only the right is highlighted. What that allows you to do is if there was some sort of mixing function where you want part way it either not to be active or to be active at a different rate, you'd move the stick to that position and you'd set that particular item. Then you'd move the stick to the other position and you'd set that item and you could have those two things be different. Okay, so we got uh, right and left. Uh, the curve is just identifying which set of uh, parameters to assign to it and it's going to happen in position one. Okay, so now I go to position two and you can see it's still got curve one there. I'm not sure if this is a glitch with the radio or not. They just make, like to make things difficult for us. But we're going to change that to curve two. And we're going to come down here and we're going to say we want that active when the switch is in the number two position. Okay, so now we got curve two. It's active in the number two position. That's where our, our switch is. And then we can come up and we can change these values. And let's say we're going to make it 15%. Okay, so now we've got a situation where we've got a switch that when it's all the way up, there's no um, uh, mixing taking place. When we've got it in the first position, uh, it's got 10% mixing of adding 10% rudder for every you know, input on the um, aileron stick. And it's got 15% in the third position. So you've got a few things to keep an eye on there. It, it seems like with these things, usually when you first start out, and the first time you do something, everything sort of falls into place. But then things happen that get the thing confused as to what's what. And that's where you really need to be watching what's going on with those uh, colored in boxes, where the switch is, uh, and the number of the curve, and, and those sorts of things. But uh, if you keep an eye on all of it, uh, it's absolutely certain to be okay. Guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, so we hope. Okay, so we got our values in place. Um, we've got our switch F up here, which is uh, switching between the uh, different levels of mixing that we've set. And we set 10% and 15%. So if we got in the zero position and we move the aileron, you can see down here, there's aileron at minus 74 and rudder is nothing because we got it turned off. But if we flick it to the middle position, we move the aileron, minus 74, we got minus 7. So roughly 10% of what you've got here is what's gone in over there. And if we switch it to the high position, then that's gone up to 11. So it's doing just exactly as we expected, working in both directions. And uh, it allows us to be able to turn off, so we can start out with it off, we can flick it in, see how it's acting when we turn, see what happens when we do rolls and various things like that, just to see if there's any adverse effects. And um, then uh, land it, make some adjustments, fine-tune it, and get it the way that we want it. Now, uh, having done one of these standard ones, we now want to think about these custom mixes. And you might think, well, what might we want to do with a custom mix? Well, how about if we did a mix having to do with a throttle? Now, typically, you take off, and when you take off, everything's cool. You know, you give it whatever it needs, and it's climbing, and you're not particularly worried about uh, vertical trim going up and down. But after you get up and you're cruising, you find that there is a, a difference if you're cruising at a slightly higher uh, uh, throttle setting as compared to a lower setting that's affecting the trim up and down. Well, what if we said, okay, going up to mid-throttle, uh, mid we don't want to do anything, but from mid-throttle and above, we'd like to gradually put in a little tiny bit of down elevator just as a trim. Okay, well, we can do that. So, um, what we need to do first off is pick whether we want normal or a curve. In this case, a normal is going to do fine. A curve would work with this as well. A curve is a little bit like Expo, where you can, instead of just having it at a constant rate going up, it could be 
you know, a very exponential sort of rate going up. And you could do that with this particular thing where, let's say at the lower end, you gradually have it increasing, but then it gets to be a lot more towards the end. But I don't think we really need that. Uh, but if you did, you'd use that curve setting and it would allow you to, to fix points on a graph, very much like with your Expo, uh, kind of similar anyway to the Expo uh, to give that curve. But we're gonna pick normal. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to pick a switch that's going to turn on and off. Well, we've already got our F switch that we've set up with our mixing for the uh, aileron and the elevator. So let's use a switch here uh, at the back. And so what we have to do is press the button first. We can then flip the switch at the back. That identifies the switch. We press the button again to put that in there. Okay, now in this particular case, it's interesting that it's actually working correctly. <laughs> As I've moved the switch to the different positions, you see how the highlighted box is moving across along with a dot on the bottom, which is the way that you want it. Um, and uh, it's also... As we look at the curve, it's going curve 0, 1, and 2 exactly the way that we want it. So, nothing messed up with it this time, but it's always good to have a look at that. Now, the next thing we want to do is uh, pick what we want to um, uh, have mixed. So, we're talking about using the throttle as the input. So, we're going to go over here to throttle, this is the first thing, select that, move across to the um, what's being affected, and with that we want the elevator. So we'll move over to elevator and select that. So we're mixing the throttle, that's the stick that we're moving, and what's getting affected is the elevator. Now with the rate, you've got two values side to side, and with this one you've got the positive part of the stick that's affected with the first value, and the negative part of the stick that's being affected with the second value. Okay. So negative is down at the bottom here, and positive is up at the top. So what we want to do in this particular case, we don't want anything to happen down, well, first off, in the, <laughs> in the zero position, we don't want any mix at all. So you just leave that exactly where it is. So then we move to the uh, second position. Sorry, wrong switch. We, then we move to the second position. Uh, and, uh, of course, that's moved across to um, uh, where it uh, belongs there. Second position, uh, we want nothing to happen in the first half, so that's the um, negative side. So this one over here, we want nothing to happen. But on the positive side, we want something to come in there. So let's say we uh, put it in at 5%, and um, uh, with the elevator, it's like the elevator on your flap mix in that the positive is down elevator, okay? So we're putting a 5% down. Now this offset here has to do with where the change takes place between the negative and the positive. So if halfway is where my throttle is uh, normally going to be, then perhaps 0% is exactly where I want it to happen. Um, if I wanted, I could put either po positive or minus in there to offset that one way or the other from the middle to where it moves over into the place where it's starting to um, uh, uh, put the thing in. Uh, this thing on the trim here is whether or not the, the trim is going to affect the mix. And uh, I'd suggest probably just have that as inhibit um, and uh, leave it that way. Uh, but you could have it to where it's active and the trim is affecting it. In this particular case, it's not a big deal one way or the other. Okay, now we move our switch, sorry, we move our correct switch, the G switch, to the right position. So we're now in the 2 position. It's curve 2, and so that allows us to set what this is going to be, and we'll put something else in here for uh, a value here. And again, with, um, uh, with any of these, you know, you just try some things. You've got it set on a switch so you can turn it off if it's, it's really terrible. Um, if, if you have it on and it's not giving you quite enough, you can come back in and change it. Uh, obviously, you want to land the plane, <laughs> then go into your menu, change it, take off again, and off you go. So that's uh, basically how it works with um, the uh, custom mixes. Pretty simple.
And uh, as we look at our throttle here, um, as we're moving the throttle, we can see it's doing nothing. This is the elevator. So as I move the throttle, it's doing nothing till I get to the middle, and then all of a sudden the elevator starts going up. And so it's got to 8 up at the top, but nothing up until the middle, and then it starts going, doing exactly what we want it to do. Well, I trust that this has been helpful, and I uh, give a try to some of these mixes with your flying, and um, see whether you like it or not. You know, some of us are old school, and we really like just using all of the sticks as they're meant to be. But uh, some things can be handy, and especially when you get into uh, uh, some of your aerobatic routines with planes that tend to do strange things <laughs> as you're going around. Uh, yeah, you may or may not want them, but give it a try. Well, this is RC Jim signing off. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that all of these tips and tricks are available to you, and uh, you can very quickly find what you need. Have a great day.